started playing guitar when I was 10 or 11. It was just natural. I just fell in love with the instrument, like everything about it, like how it looked, the sound, what it did to people. I remember the guitarist at my church, Jairus Mosey. I remember after the service, they would play the church out like as everyone's walking out, and then the band would stay and just like be going off. And I just remember I'd watch him, <laughs> you know, just looking at this motherfucker go crazy. And I'm like, damn, I want to be as cool as that motherfucker. I don't want to sound. Maybe it's just my feeling. I'd rather have a feeling than a sound, because I can't make the same shit over and over again. But now I'm at this point where I'm trying to find the middle ground between what I love and what everyone wants. You don't come into the game with those expectations. A star, I call people stars when just a personable person that can like sit in with any type of person and treat everyone the same and get treated the same. I think that's a star. It has nothing to do with money or fame. It's a feeling. That's taste. You know, knowing how much to stay on beat, knowing how much to stay off beat, knowing when to add a little, you know, doink. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all. I don't know. It's adding your own spin. I think I got here on mystery, so to just change and then like have goals and plans. I'm like, yeah, I got here like on accident, so I'm like, I'll just keep blowing in the wind, because it works. It works for me. I'm learning how to be vulnerable with music with my name on it, and I'm trying to find the best of the best. I don't think I have, but it's opening up quite a bit. I think it's gonna be good. I love it. I just like fucking music. And then, I guess I'm somebody. I guess I'm a, I'm not gonna call myself a celebrity. I guess I'm a star.